I just ran to the 30 degree room and I picked up our induced culture and we're gonna put it on ice. Now I added water to this ice bath. I'm just gonna squish it down, cover it in ice, and then slosh it so that we can get this uh, sure as chilled as quickly as possible. That's gonna give us a slightly better efficiency. Um, and just wanna shake that around a little bit. And we're gonna be spinning it down in the large centrifuge. So I have a tube that that culture is gonna get poured into. And, <clears throat> while well, we're just going to let that chill for a second, uh, I'll note that the centrifuge has been changed so that it's at a about 4 degrees. Hopefully it's had time to cool down. And when I did my induction, I put some 10% glycerol in the freezer. So it should be ice cold right about now. Hopefully not frozen. So here's our 10% glycerol. So that goes on ice. Oops, I does not want to stick in there. And we're going to be using the, uh, the TA-10 rotor for the centrifuge. So this is probably cold enough. I just slosh it around a little uh, bit more, make sure it's really cold. That's the most important part uh, at this point. <clears throat> and now we're going to transfer the culture from our flask into our conical vial. We want to be very careful that we don't get any drops from this flask when we're putting it into our falcon tube. So to get around the drops, what we do is we take a paper towel and hold it like this so that if any drops do come about, they'll hopefully get absorbed by that paper towel. Pour it on in. It's a little bit more than 50, which is cool. And cap it. Cap is labeled. And just make sure that this gets nice and cold. That's a really important part about this. Whenever you're doing any sort of transformation, you want yourself to be as cold as possible. Now we're going to spin it down so we can bring our little ice bucket over here. <clears throat> and centrifuge, that 19 degrees right now, so it's a couple more degrees to go, but that's okay. RPM, we're going to bump it up to 6,500. Oops. That's because the rotor's wrong. We want TA. 10 RPM is going to be 6500. Time is going to be 5 minutes. And this should give us a nice little color. So, this center is good to go. <clears throat> Pardon, I put my throat. Um, now we're going to weigh our, our culture tube and make a balance for it. So, here's our scale. I'm going to tear our scale and get our balance. Is that balance? Or oh, balances are empty. Gotta fill it up with a little bit more water here. Nice in it. Probably not the most professional at doing it. There we go. You can see that. So I'm just gonna try to get it as close as possible and put this in one of those holding tubes. Here's our actual cells. I'm gonna weigh those first because we're probably going to have to adjust the other one a little bit more. So that comes out to 205.8. This goes back on ice. This comes out to 205.8. How about that? That's just incredible. Every now and again you get lucky. So I'm now going to double check our actual cells one more time. 6.1, maybe we'll use this one. Uh, shoot. <laughs> 205. There we go. So now we're ready to spin. So I hit open. That thing has already been screwed down, and I just bounce them opposite one another. Oh, sorry. And hit start. This is going to spin down. We're going to end up with a bunch of kind of used 2IT and a pellet at the bottom. We want to discard everything other than that pellet. We're going to resuspend in some glycerol, spin it down, resuspend again in glycerol, spin it down, and then that washed pellet are the cells that we're going to be transforming in. So we'll be back in a second after this is finished pelleting and run through the rest of the protocol.